Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Way of the Hunter. It's my first video and I'm going to show you guys in this video the keys that you need to use because that's very important because you cannot remap the keys in this game. I was really surprised I already know that from, from videos that I saw before the release but still in 2022 if you cannot do that in a game because I'm playing on an Azerti keyboard and guess what? I need to change it to QWERTY. Uh, some of my keys are not in the right place then but yeah, I think they are working on it. But let's get started. So we are going to start with the first one. You guys can see every key at the right top if you don't want to uh, check it out how I show you guys it. So first of all, W, A, S, D, that's just running like in every game. Here we go, that's running. Then the next one, C, is crouching. So you can see the stance that you are in the bottom right. So you see the wind in the bottom right and you see a guy standing straight. Now, if I go to crouch, you see that I go crouch. That's visual, very handy. If you keep pushing C, you go to prone. Here we go. And then you can just prone around. That's very important. If you push C again, you go one step higher. Why is that? Otherwise, if they go in full length, back to the main position, you got a chance that you spook animals. That's very smart what they did. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And now I'm back at my position. Then the next one, space bar is jumping. You can see it here. You can run, uh, you can walk, and you can run with shift. It's like in every game, shift, you go a little bit faster. If you push F, you do auto run. So if you push F again, you stop. And then the next one, you can go a little bit slower than you already can go in all the stances. So I'm going back to prone. And if you push, you need to watch this. If I push now control one time, I'm going slower. Yeah, you cannot see it really good here. Let's do it here. So here you can see it really good. This is a lot slower. Control again. This is, uh, yeah, to not spook animals, of course. Let's go back up. Then the next one is the light. So that's, uh, that's H. You can see it here. You can see it on the wall. This is the light. And what I read is the light is not spooking animals. That's very strange. Uh, so I guess they, they close their eyes at night or something. But it's not spooking the animals. Then the next one is the hunter sense. That's Q. Here you can see. This is very important. If you hear like uh, an animal making a sound in the distance. And you just check it out. You can see all the info that you have. So it's very handy. You need to have it. Otherwise it's very hard to track the animals. So if I hear a sound. I just put my hunter sense up. And then I can see. Ah, uh, from there the sound is coming and that's where the animal is sitting. Then the next one is the waypoint and this is very handy. So if you go to the binoculars. So here you can see. And for example, I want to go now to the fence. So I can do this. Then you need to push X. And you can see now I put a marker on my binoculars. That's very handy. So I want to go a little bit further. I put it here. It's very handy. If you track an animal and they are sitting there, you can just put your waypoint on that position. You shoot the animal and then you know where you need to run. Otherwise, it's not always easy to find the animal, uh, the, the, the blood of the animal. And that's very handy. So it's very cool that you got waypoints. So if you come now back on this, I see over there I need to run to the waypoint. Then the next one is photo mode. So if you want to make a photo, you just push P. So here you go. This is the photo mode. Here we go. If you want to make a nice photo, let's get out of this. Then the next one is the tracking markers. And why did I say map? Because you need to go to your map. So if you push C. So here you can see. You can make a nice track how you need to go. And you can remove it with space. But it's best that you remove it with T. So if I push now T. All the tracking markers are gone. So you can just make a way how you need to run. And that's very handy. Then the next one. Uh, once again in map again. So if you push space on the, the icons of the animals. You're going to create a neat zone. So this animal is now white. If I push space bar on it. 
you can see here is the mule deer eating so here is a need zone if i go back to this one because it seems that you can only activate one but yeah if you're on that position just activate and then you know where the need zone is so here i got another icon and here is a drinking need zone that's how you need to do it and if it is yellow you can see uh, that need zone for this animal is over here then the next one this is very handy because at the start i was just doing this with the scroll bar on my mouse but from one to nine it's the hotkey so i push one is my gun one i push two is my gun uh yeah two and then number four is binoculars i'm not sure how you can put them on those hotkeys but wh what is so handy about it because i was a little bit in trouble how do i need to get with my scroll mouse my binoculars away I don't know how, how I need to do it. So now it's gone. So you need to scroll. But if you are going with hotkeys. You just push the same hotkey and it's gone. It's a lot easier in my opinion. Than scrolling the mouse. One up. It's gone. That's how simple it is. Then the next one. Is, uh, is E. So everything that you see in the game. Like uh, you can interact with trees. If there is a deer eating on it. You can interact with the water. You can interact with, with the blood. You can interact with everything. So then you need to use E and then reloading is R. So you can see it here. I got my gun. I push R. And I think this is now full. Yeah. Maybe I need to shoot one time. Ah, here we go. Okay. This one was reloading. So that was it, guys. A quick tutorial for all the keys in the game. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.